Here's what's making news on Roadshow. The Los Angeles Auto Show kicks off in earnest today and the clear headliner is Jeep's Wrangler. The off-roader looks much the same, but inside it's all new. There's a 2.0-liter turbo, the first forced induction engine for the model, and it features a mild hybrid assist called e-torque. For traditionalists, there's still the tried-and-true Pentastar V6, and a diesel is coming, but not before 2019. The Wrangler has even lost some weight thanks to increased use of aluminum closures like the doors and hood. In other words, it looks like the Icon, but it's no longer antiquated. Subaru's long-awaited three-row SUV is finally here. The 2019 Ascent bows in LA, and it hopes to erase any bad memories of the awkward and long-gone B9 Tribeca. The company's biggest ever vehicle features seating for seven or eight, and it's powered by a 2.4-liter turbo four with 260 horsepower. All-wheel drive is standard, as is Subaru's EyeSight suite of advanced driver assist features. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available, as is a Wi-Fi hotspot. Pricing has not yet been announced. Nissan's controversially styled Juke did well for itself, but it's getting the boot in its old age. Enter the 2018 Kicks, a compact CUV that dials back the Juke's edgy design while still maintaining a little funk. This LA Auto Show debut also figures to be more modern and efficient with its 1.6 liter engine and loads of available advanced driver assist systems. On sale overseas already and due at US dealers in June, the Kicks is sadly front wheel drive only, like the Toyota CHR and Kia Soul it'll compete against. Find more on these stories over at theroadshow.com and we'll talk to you tomorrow.